Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at the new Diatone GT200 2017 model Crusader. It's a new quad that Diatone have released. On the back of its very popular earlier model, there's a few significant changes and we're going to have a look at it on the bench and uh, go over some of its features and some of the new additions. Move on over old GT200. We've got the new one right here. You can see straight away they've done a whole lot more effort in making it pretty. First and foremost, new motors upgraded in size and slightly higher in KV. 2306 2450 KV motors. Really snazzy looking too, really nice anodizing and machining. And these silver coated wires as well, they look the biz. Aluminium anodized ESC protectors with nice little channels that have been cut out so your zip ties fit in nice and smooth. The ESCs, 30 amp D shot ready. There's been a little bit of change in the hardware as well, guys. The FC itself has changed. They're using a new FC, uh, Diatone Fury F3, they're calling it. It's using the MPU 6000. It's capable of 8K, 8K gyro loop times. They've upgraded the bottom. They've made the mount a little bit bigger and a little bit wider. We still feel, however, that it would benefit from a, uh, a pad of some sort, an anti-slip pad. All right, so that's one area that uh, they could add uh, some improvement to. Nice and easy to fix for yourself though. Use a Helix pad or a Kraken pad or even just a little bit of foam there would make it a whole lot grippier for your battery. The motor mounts are looking very different. They're using what they're calling the MVS, the Motor Vibration Suppression System. It's designed to isolate the motor from the frame and give you the best possible flight performance. Also worth noting, we're gonna stock all the parts for this, so if you have any problems with any of them in the future, you crash, you burn out a motor, you blow an ESC, we will have replacement parts for it. I'll just point out a few of the extras that it comes with. We're now giving you some much better props. 50, 52, 51, 52 gem fans, a pack of those ready to go. All right, you get a little bit of an instruction manual, your camera cable for changing your camera settings. Diatone, I've always been good in chucking you a few different straps. Got some spare mounting hardware in there. You may be able to see the little XT60 bracket they've included. Clamps your XT60 cable head out of the way there. Your extra cabling, guys, does include a buzzer. So if you like to have that connected for uh, voltage monitoring or audible alerts or if your craft goes down and you're trying to find it that buzzer does make a big difference it's plug and play so you can simply plug it into your fc strap it down somewhere and you're ready to go the other thing that we'd like to point out is that it does not support smart audio on the vtx there's a little button down here in the corner that you'll need to press to change channels bands and power settings aside from that guys i'm really excited to take this thing up in the air and see how she flies They've definitely made a big improvement in terms of aesthetics and in terms of hardware, it's running a lot better gear on it right now. Thanks again for watching guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already and check out the links below for more information. Catch you next time.